Council, as you are all aware, uh, we had an incident last night out at Don Owen, at the Don Owens complex. PD is very good to uh, to drive through and, and even do walkthroughs at our, at our uh, facilities, but Chief Tapley and uh, Andrew and I met this morning, and uh, Chief and Andrew felt like it would, in order to get folks feeling better about the safety at our parks, that we go ahead and uh, Chief wanted to have folks there staying uh, during all of our games uh, and also uh, our tournaments. He has put those numbers together. I'll ask him to present those numbers to you, and then we can answer any questions that you have or any concerns that you have. Chief? So we received a schedule uh, from Andrew. We went through that schedule uh, looking at all the dates and all the different fields that will have tournaments and, and games and all of that. Based upon those calculations, we estimate that it will run between $100,000 and $120,000 to make it through the rest of the year, uh, putting somebody at each park when they're having games or tournaments. Um, that's, like I said, that is an estimate. Uh, it's going to vary depending on who signs up and what their overtime rate is. It will also depend on whether games are rained out or canceled and things like that. But that's as close as we could come uh, with our figures. And Andrew is going to meet with the, uh, the director of our tournaments, uh, you know, that's an outside group, and ask them to step up in helping pay for security as well. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. You had mentioned the parks. Are we also looking to have someone to cover McGee and Don Owen? And I only say that because I know they have AAU tournaments there. So this is the ball field. Okay. Uh, what we have done is we went through today. Um, I got with the patrol major. We are increasing our presence in both Don Owens and the McGee Center. Okay. Um, and so we will be doing walkthroughs nightly uh, to make sure that our presence is seen and we're there more often. If we have a special tournament or something that, that Andrew thinks that we need to, to have somebody there, then we'll work with him and make sure that that happens. Okay. I think it's money well spent as long mm -hmm. as uh, I mean, people have to feel safe and it's just it's so much revenue these ball tournaments that mm -hmm. come in every weekend we can't afford for people to not, to not be them. comfortable yeah mm -hmm. and i know i was at an event um at the mcgee center and i mean you couldn't even find a parking spot right. Right. they had an aau tournament going on there this weekend it's unfortunate that we have to do these I things know. But it, it is, mm -hmm. it is but i would rather people feel comfortable coming yes. to our town yes. mm -hmm. It's unfortunate, but I guarantee you, the parents are glad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Parks are one one of the, one of Conway's greatest assets. By far, is a uh, CASM is that who does the baseball tournaments here? That's going to be in a, That's going to be a question <laughs> yeah. for Parks and Rec. I know. <laughs> okay. So, Council, this will be a, an ordinance. We do not have an, an ordinance prepared for it, but I would like to ask you to go ahead since it starts tonight, if y'all are okay with it, if y'all are good with passing this, and then we'll uh, we'll get it written up and, and to everyone. And we do have someone at each of our fields tonight. So. You have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Second, Mr. Hunt. We have a motion and a second to approve this ordinance, to approve overtime for the Conway Police Department to uh, stage officers at our parks. Any comments or questions? We Which are getting not, there. Um, you know, what you got to start out with uh, at the beginning of the year has really made a difference. I'm happy to say at this point, uh, we only have three openings, and that's, wow. it's, that's wow. something that we have not fabulous. seen in the last several years. Change. So uh, mm -hmm. it's really made a, made a difference. I noticed on the comments today, of course, I'm, I need to quit reading them, but um, <laughs> from, the, from the public, Deal, but that was a lot of what people said is just hire more officers, mm -hmm. and it's not that easy. It is not. Uh, we just, and I'm getting off track here. Uh, but, me uh, too. We just had <laughs> We just had testing, again, a full series of tests, uh -huh. um, and at the end of it, we've got 14 applicants that are eligible at this point. That is before uh, backgrounds or anything mm -hmm. else. Right. So I was fixing to say that's better than the last time you told yes. us. And a good number four. of these, several of these are, are Certified yes. officers. Okay. So, well, and speaking of the online comments, well, there were some critical ones. There were also some that said, you know, the police and the sheriff's department responded quickly. They were there within minutes, which mm -hmm. is what the best you can do. Yeah. A city of 70,000 people. There's a lot of going, there's a lot of things going on. Yes, and, and uh, 
you know, uh, there's only one person I know that's omnipresent. It's not any Conway police officers. <laughs> so you're, y'all are doing a great job with what you have, Chief. Appreciate that. Thank, Thank you, Chief. Thank you. And whatever else you might need, you let us know. Mm, yeah. Like I told Mr. Knight earlier, it's your fault that you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Hawkins. You. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Garrett's going to sign a uh, ordinance number. The ordinance O2332. Yes, sir. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Hawkins? Yes. Ms. Mel? Aye. Ms. Tucker? Yes. Ms. Webb? Aye. Ms. Isby? Yes. Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. Mr. Grimes? Aye. That passes 8-0. Thank you, Council. Do we I'd, need an emergency uh, yeah. as well? Emergency yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay, the emergency clause. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Hawkins? Yes. Ms. Mel? Aye. Ms. Tucker? Yes. Ms. Webb? Aye. Ms. Isby? Yes. Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. And Mr. Grimes? Aye. Those both pass eight to zero. Thank you, Council. I, I didn't have any doubt about that, but in order to handle it correctly, it need to come before this body tonight. So thank you.